Hey everybody, welcome Taco Tuesday. I'm Justin, you're on Fast Entrepreneur. Let's get into it. Nothing I say, financial advice, do your own research. All right, uh, I wanna do a quick uh, video and talk about uh, so these solidly, these uh, VE33 uh, DEXs, AMMs that you see going around, what are they? And so if you've been paying attention uh, to kind of the DeFi world for a little while, it's kind of started, um, I don't know when, when it was, last year sometime with the solidly uh, Any, uh, and, Andre Cronje. Um, you can look him up, Phantom, uh, you know, big, big dev. Uh, but it seems that others have kind of taken that model, forked it, and uh, improved it and tweaked it a little bit. Uh, and the most notable one has been Velodrome uh, on Optimism. And so I covered actually Velodrome uh, months ago. Um, it was probably hovering around, I don't know, like maybe two, two cents-ish. Um, I think right now it's between like 15 cents and 20 cents. Uh, but why, why is uh, this model working or seeming to be working well? What does it do uh, and where uh, what other chains are starting to basically copycat this and um, well let's get into it so this VE33 basically the whole idea is you know everybody wins win win right um, win here but what does it do it's trying to bring liquidity to these platforms right so when you're trying to make a trade you've got you know one token on one side one token on the other uh, and so when you have liquidity in these liquidity pools but how do you incentivize uh, liquidity to come and not just you know come for a short period of time maybe chase some you know some some ap you know r and then boom bye bye so that's what this model uh, tries to do by and if you look at the velodrome model um they have a kind of their own dex token if you will velo you can lock it up you can have governance where you can vote uh you can direct your votes towards certain LPs, you can earn several different ways on emissions uh, and fees. And then there's also bribes that anybody can create a bribe. Uh, a lot of times we see like the actual protocols seeming to create bribes to try and attract uh, these votes. Um, so it's been, uh, it's worked and it seemed to, has uh, the TVL, the total value locked, has gone up on a lot of these platforms. So. Anyways, that's a Velodrome model, uh, and there's been a bunch of other ones, um, you know, on all these other chains. So you've got things like Equalizer, you've got Thena, you've got um, recently, I think I've mentioned uh, Equilibre Vara uh, on Kava. So you're, you've got these, um, and you've got other ones on Arbitrum, um, you know, a, a few. I think uh, there's a new one, Ramsey's. Uh, there's Solid Lizard, there's uh, Sterling. Um, I mean, there's probably a whole list of them, but uh, that's the whole idea is this flywheel. And um, so far, it seems to be attracting uh, deposits. So um, that's it. I thought I'd bring that to your attention. Uh, you know, I'm going to be on the lookout if you're in this, uh, looking out for this type of a, a thing and you find, say, a newer project on a newer chain that's also, you know, doing a fork. Specifically, you know, if we find some that are actually rewarding, uh, you know, or doing airdrops to previous holders, like, um, so, you know, some of these have done, you know, like if you locked up Var or Velo, you know, for four years, you may have been el eligible for uh, some airdrops. Sometimes there's only like a 30, you know, 30 day window or whatever to claim, but okay. Um, and then finally, what I'm noticing is, so when these projects are starting, um, you know, it's kind of either takes maybe a week or so to get the, uh, they call them ep epoch, epoch, the, these uh, time periods, these weekly emissions to, to begin. Um, and it does often tend to 
lead to a higher, you know, like a inflationary supply in the in the in that token. Um, but as people lock it up, you know, and take out the supply, um, you know, the the uh, circulating supply tends to tends to um, be much less than say the FDV or the fully diluted valuation. So, um, yeah, the one that I'm watching now is the one on uh, Kava, uh, simply just because, you know, I've been interested in what Cosmos ecosystem is doing. And so this is kind of a way of bringing like Cosmos and Ethereum together. Um, you know, I know we've seen like things like uh, Canto and Evmos uh, and others, but, um, you know, it's, it's how do you bring liquidity to these uh, to these platforms? So something to watch, but that's all folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.